Hey everybody, I'm Garrett and this is a review of a new mobile game from Mob.org. Let's begin. Today, we have another exclusive which was recently released for the 3rd and 4th Tegra, and it's called Tainted Kip. Remember recently we were talking about Bloodsword? Well, Bloodsword and Tainted Kip have something in common, and I even know what it is. Both games leave an impression of incompleteness. It's as though the developers wanted to make a solid, high-quality game but then they suddenly ran out of money, so they knocked together what they had and shot it up onto the network. While Blood Sword seemed to be a simple alpha version, Tainted Kip still attempted to be a full-blown game. Let's examine how successful it was. A couple of words about graphics. They're certainly good. Usually phrases like that from me are followed with a but. But, it's really good. Moreover, I was pleased not so much with the quality of the images themselves. I certainly saw a lot of good graphics. As with all sorts of small details, swaying ropes, glare on the enemy's shields, various candles and torches. Actually, I think that tiny, unapparent details are extremely important for any game, mobile or otherwise. It's not like there's tons of them, but at least they're there, unlike in Bloodsword, which had somewhat static, frozen locations. The plot, well, the game has a shadow of it, it even tries to develop in some way, but still. It looks more like a bonus carelessly attached to the alpha version than something that used to be at the heart of the creation. After all, a scenario is written first and a game is made after it. It's a pity, but game developers seem to not remember or even not know about that very often. And now let's talk about the gameplay. The objective of the game is to make your way through an intricate labyrinth of passages, rooms, and doors. You'll meet various enemies and traps on your way, and sometimes even bosses with considerable dimensions and you'll have to clear a path with fire and sword. I mean magic when saying fire. There are four different spells in the game, and you'll unlock them as you progress. Obviously, each of them characterizes one of the four elements. You can find assault weapons too. Fairly speaking, I don't understand what you need them for. The thing is, every weapon you use upgrades while you use it. So at any moment, you find a new tough sword. You still have the old sword that still slashes pretty good anyway. By the way, the monsters hit you really hard, but as soon as you die, you regenerate in the same spot. That's why I don't understand why they didn't make the game's hero totally immortal. It seems like a feature for testers of the alpha version, and the developers just didn't remove it or they were too lazy to make checkpoints. And I have left the dark side of the game to the end. It's the controls. Everything's standard. Use joystick at the left side to run, turn your head, and slash with the joystick and keys at the right. It's just not comfortable. You can get used to it, but still. So, the resume. I don't have a single opinion on this game. It seems to be good, but I think it's still raw. You can try it all the same. That's all for today. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends. This was Garrett and Reviews from Mob.org. See you soon. It's Green Haven. People are dying. Their spirits floating towards the keep.